Leave nothing. It must be clean, with no ties. It... Well, my helpful associate from the streets. You took the canary from the city? Without incident? Without bloody incident? You know better. Mind your tongue, woman. Please, do speak your mind. The bodies of the mages Karatam led right to us. Why? You come back speaking their language and think to lecture me. If such a plot existed, if the Kunari had murdered you for trying to help their slave mage, then yes, someone might have found that useful. It would have cast doubt on appeasement. Perhaps your death would have been a tragic necessity. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. But all we have now are dead Kunari and the word of a sympathizer. Your Katojan chose to go back and be killed rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine, but they are not like us. If, perhaps, why dance around this lie? I'm standing right here. If a member of the Chantry admitted instigation, I have no doubt it would result in more appeasement. But an accusation from a low town thug? You are hardly that important. That's not an insult. It's why I chose you. Rest assured, excuses, real or imagined, are not for your benefit. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. We'll be hearing from that one again. I didn't think you'd come. I'll find something relatively clean for you to sit on. Can I get you something to eat or drink? I have water. I came here to see you, Meryl. You don't have to fuss over me. You're so kind. My first guest and I'm already a terrible host. I wanted to thank you for bringing me here, but I'm making a mess of it. You're so sweet, Meryl. I'm not really. If good wishes were enough, everyone in Thedas would be happy. I haven't exactly had many friends. Not even among my own clan. This is... tricky. What made you unpopular with the Dalish? 
being first to the keeper, I was always a bit secluded. I studied magic and history while the others were learning the Via Tanadal. It's good that I left. I'd have made a terrible keeper. I was never that good with people. It won't take long before you're the most popular girl in the alienage. Mythol, I hope not. I'd managed to say something stupid in front of everyone and embarrass myself. Thank you for coming to visit me, Hawk. It means a lot to me. This city is amazing. Do you know I saw someone get mugged? Right outside. It was fascinating. Everything happens here all at once. How does anyone keep it all straight? Someone has jumped outside your door, and that's exciting. It must be the Alien Age greeting. Hasn't happened to me yet, though. They must not like me. It's so busy here. So many things just get... lost. Are you feeling lost here, Meryl? A bit. But... I'll adjust. I'm glad you came by. I needed someone to talk to. Rooting a sport into winter? Do they hold competitions? Hand out trophies for the best scowls? I'm not brooding. They're not better ah! You seem like you're a champion. Ah! 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 Ah!
And the world's rid of one more canary. Easier than I expected. Call the men back. We've got an appointment with the Viscount. Isn't that right, Seamus? Ashad! You killed him! You... You Vashadan bitch! That one of their words? See, that's why you need to be dragged home. You're playing too nice with those things. I'll wager you've gone even further than that. Haven't you, brat? Sounds like he doesn't want to go with you. Competition? Well, you're too late. The Winters, uh, I, have already claimed him. Sirrah, if I must go back, so be it. But I will not see these murderers rewarded. Spoiled shit! I'll cut out your tongue and charge extra for bringing you back quiet. And as for you, I could do with some entertainment while we wait for the others. You're going to regret this! Well done, everyone. Dead and good riddance, but... She said she was waiting for more. A lot more. Well, let's get ready, then. Strip the camp, and we'll ready a fitting welcome. I've never seen so many corpses. So much blood. We'll get through this. Hold on a little longer. There may be more coming. Never lied. Never coddled. You were worth his time, or you were not. They are not the brutes others claim they are. Take me to my father, and I will try again to make him see. We'll leave soon enough, Seamus. Be ready. I am at your whim, Sirrah. I am ready to leave. And you have coin to collect, I'm sure. Let's go, Seamus. Your father will be waiting in the keep. Then take me to him.
father. My son. I thought I'd lost you. Enough, father. Allow me to present one Sarah Hawk, Excellency. He fulfilled the bounty. You have my gratitude. I hope you encountered no great difficulties on my son's behalf. There were complications, but I was privileged to keep your son from harm. I was told the Winters had involved themselves. Was there no way to avoid an incident? They murdered my friend. Where is the concern for that? It was my understanding you were captured alone. Foolishly traipsing about the coast as you do. I was not captured. I was with a shard. The Kunari. They are not monsters to be feared. If you would just try to understand, others would see as well. Better that you were thought abducted than to have their influence suspected in my own family. Benign or not, it's too much. Forgive me. This is a private concern of yours. Your actions are appreciated. The Seneschal will see you out. is yours. I had a friend like you once. Got in all kinds of trouble. Dragged me along. Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. You can tell me anything. Anything? Be careful what you offer. I just... I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend, it had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. We can't always predict the outcome of our actions. We can only make them with a true heart. Well, under that scruffy exterior, I think you've got a bit of a soft heart yourself. I'm sorry, I shouldn't presume. I just... We've hardly met and I feel like I know you. Am I making you uncomfortable? I don't want you thinking about me that way. Everyone wants to control my thoughts. Fine. I hear you. Strictly professional. I have no time to argue with you.
patrols here if I had my choice. Lowtown is trouble. We can't waste time, Hawk. Guardsman Donick is here somewhere. We must be getting close to the ambush. I'm not losing another guard to <laughs> down, but there were too many at once. The captain said this route was supposed to be quiet. The seal of the Viscount, office details, city accounts. Valuable to a guild of thieves. A sacrificial delivery with one of our own. Captain Jevon will answer. Exposing this kind of corruption could make the guards look weak. Then we look weak. The others deserve better. This goes to the office of the Viscount. This will be known. The captain likes his thieves so much. See if they welcome him in prison. The Ferelden, eh? The Red Iron said you might help me. Some raider captains are having secret meetings at night in Low Town. The job's simple. Break up the meeting and kill every one of the bastards. Just tell me where they are. All the details are in this letter. If you manage to eavesdrop on the meeting before you kill them, there'll be extra in it for you. I'll be here. I lost two of my men for damned wheat. Drive them around the
Get a hold of her. Please, help me. Anyone. Get the hands. I heard they can't do no spells without hands. You know nothing of magic. There's always pretenders out at night. Sometimes you have to correct them. Good coin in it, too.
You know, Ravani, you promised me you'd tell me how your ship wrecked. I was drunk. I thought the reefs around the wounded coast were made of candy. Oh, come on. And a demon told me to do it. It bet me 60 sovereigns and a bottle of port. You're not the only one here who can bullshit, you know? Please, can you help me? My brother. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout. So idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance. In your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. May God bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. <laughs>